berries on the property um, to make callberry jelly. So I will start. These are perfectly ripe right now. The hawthorn uh, is that they've got some very sharp thorns, as you can see here. It's really important um, for a species called shrike, which is a bird that will impale its prey uh, on these thorns and then eat it after. As you can see, we've been picking the tree quite well here, and uh, we've got a fair number of them in our pail. The next step in the process is to de-stem all these haws, and then we'll boil them and uh, prepare them to make the jelly. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're sorting out the haw berries now, um, so that we can get our you know select haws for the jelly. Um, ones that you want to get rid of, obviously you want to take the stems off of uh, the haw berries here, but you want to get ones that are nice and red and ripe um, and that don't have any um, signs of rot or any evidence of you know insects getting into uh, the berries. So I have a couple of examples of um, ones that are not good that you wouldn't want to put in the jelly. Uh, here's one that's a bit uh, rotten if you can see that. Um, also, this one has uh, some rot as well as a little hole sort of drilled into it by an insect. If you were to go in there, the uh, the pulp of the berry is, is not good anymore. Um, so we just don't want to use that, so we will discard it. So it's kind of a very tedious job. There's lots of work to be done, um, but the end result is all worth it. So the next step after sorting the haws and removing the stems is to measure them on a scale. And here we have just a little over two pounds of hawberries, approximately a kilogram. So what we want to do now is rinse them well before putting them in the pot to boil on the stove. And after that, you know, we have them on our pot and the stove we will add just enough water to cover up the hawberries so they can boil for the next hour. So we've got the haws uh, in the pot on the stove. I've got the dial set to boil them. Um, we'll be monitoring them every 20 minutes and uh, mashing them with uh, this potato masher here um, just to kind of break down uh, the pulp of the haw. All right, here we go. So they're boiling well and it smells amazing already. Um, so I'm just gonna take the uh, potato masher here and just kind of break up the, uh, oops, sorry the steam on the camera there. <laughs> Just gonna kind of break up the berries with the masher to extrude the juice and the pulp. I'll do this like I said every 20 minutes until they're done. And that'll be in about an hour. Alright, so it's done boiling and now we have a bit of a, a hom mash left over. What I'm going to do now is put it in a jelly bag and let it um, basically release the jelly overnight. Okay, so I've got the berries um, in the jelly bag and you can see that you can buy um, something to hold the jelly bag. I've just got like a spaghetti jar and a wine bottle holder to hold that up suspended above a cup uh, to collect the juice and you can see it's a, it takes a while but uh, you leave it overnight and it will drip and uh, catch the uh, juice from the haws. And then tomorrow what we'll do is boil that with some sugar and lemon juice to make the jelly. Okay so now we're going to make the jelly. I've got about 300 mils of uh, haw juice uh, after I um, put it through the jelly strainer. I'm just going to put them in back in the jam pot here. And because I have 300 milliliters of you know the liquid, what we're going to do is add the juice of one lemon to this. And we're also going to add 300 mils, or sorry, 300 grams rather, of uh, white sugar. We're going to bring this back up to a boil to dissolve all the sugar. 
so we can make our jelly. We'll be stirring this uh, throughout the process here. I've already pre-sterilized my jars and they're sitting right here uh, ready to roll in the pot up to the right of the viewer there. Right now you can see this beautiful red color. And now we're bringing it to a rolling boil uh, and we'll do that for 10 minutes and then we'll see when the jelly reaches its set point uh, and that point is where you know we stick the spoon in and then it will cool and then come off the spoon uh, in a sheet. Also you can add a dollop of it to a cold um, you know a cold plate and if it slips off uh, the plate then you know it is ready to set and to be poured into the jelly jars. So now we're going to test the jelly to see if we're just near the setting point. So what we do is we get a large spoon and we put it in the jelly and we lift it out above the pot and you can see it's coming off the spoon in about two spots there, in two drips. So it's getting really close. When we're getting near the end point, um, it'll want to sheet off the spoon in one, um, one larger drip along the side of the edge of the spoon. All right, so we're going to do our final test here to see where we are with the jelly. Dip my spoon in there. See, it does seem to be gelling nicely. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of it on uh, a plate I've had in the freezer and do the wrinkle test where we see if the jelly will wrinkle. When it's cooled, if it does, then we'll be ready to uh, put it in the sterilized jars. So we let it sit on the plate there for about a minute and then we will just check it and see where we are. Alright, so here we are at about a minute and you can see the gel right there. If I go with my finger, you can see it is wrinkling on the plate and it's got a nice jelly texture to it. So we are ready to put it in the sterilized jars. So as we're getting to can here, uh, what we do is we take the um, jelly off the heat here and you can certainly skim off um, some of that extra foam there so it doesn't show up in the jars. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the jelly into our sterilized hot jars. I've got a funnel here with a you know ruler on there. We're going to measure Put a bunch of liquid in there till it's about a quarter inch from the top of the jar and then we'll place our hot sterilized seals on top and then we will reprocess them again um, in the canner for another five to ten minutes and to boil them and uh, then they should be ready they will then sit for 12 to 24 hours until the seal is complete uh, for the lid there and the jar and then we'll have nice hot jelly to enjoy all right so i've basically cleaned off um, the foam. So we're just going to pour that now into the jars. All right, so basically I have about 500 mils of finished Hawberry jelly product. Just remember to clean the tops of the jars with a clean, um, I'm using paper towel and warm water, but you can use like a warm washcloth. Just wanna make sure the seal is gonna be good with our lids. And then we put our lids on. One. And then 
two. All right. Great. Now we'll seal them up. Careful, they're really hot. Okay, now they're ready to go back in for processing for another five minutes uh, at a rolling boil. But as you can see, it is a beautiful, beautiful uh, bright red jelly. All right, so there you have it, hawberry jelly. Nice and sweet, great to go on toast, and straight from our property, which is even better. Bon appétit!